Howarth Fire Station is due to close by the end of the year. I'm here with Steve Thorpe who organised today's march in protest at this happening. I just wondered, Steve, uh, why did you think this was necessary? Howarth class is one of the main tourist areas of the world, but yet the locals of Howarth get nothing but cuts year on, year out. First it was the library that went, then the police went, then the park keepers went, uh, the post office closed, Next is the Children's Centre, which they spent millions building a couple of years ago. But the latest one, which happens in 18 days, is the fire station at Howarth closing, which I just couldn't lay in bed and let happen without trying to put up a fight, because this will definitely cost lives. It might not be the month after it closes, it might not be a year after it closes, but lives will definitely go. There's now, not only have they closed the pump at Howarth, but yet they've made just one fire engine at Keefley. So if that fire engine's out at another incident, you could be waiting an hour for an engine to come from Illingworth, Bingley or Silsden. It takes two minutes for a fire to spread. So it could mean life or death for a family in hour. So now's the time for us to try and take action and put pressure on West Yorkshire Fire Service to review the actions that they're taking. What kind of action would you like people to take? Uh, well, I think with the general election next year, I think it would be good to get onto the local MPs, for them to get onto Chris Hopkins, for him to take to London, to tell Mr Cameron what's happening in places like Howarth, places that they advertise to people all over the world to come and visit. Because really, it could be hard having like a 40s weekend, all them thousands of people in Howarth without an emergency service nearby if anything happens. Uh, I'd also urge people to ring West Yorkshire Fire Service to lobby them to make their feelings known because as we know it's just easy to sit on your bum and let other people do things but we've got 18 days before this station closes and as I've said it will cost lives so now's the time to make your voice known and take action.